Oh, there you are. Did you miss me? <laughs> Did you miss me, darling? <laughs> oh my, you didn't miss me. Hi guys, so I want to tell you about my first date of the year. Remember I planned to start dating this year. So this guy been badgering me to go on a date with him quite some time. So I finally agreed, I said yes. It's like, okay, we do dinner and a movie. We, we go out to dinner and a movie. So, anyway, he comes, he picks me up, and then, somehow, we end up in Queens, he slowed down and stop, and I'm like, what are you doing? I said, what are you doing? He says, oh, I called, I called in the food, I, I ordered the food, and he's picking, he, I, he's about to pick it up. So I said to him, oh, so this is a Chinese restaurant, whatever. Can you get me shrimp tempura as well? Some shrimp tempura. So I said that because I called my friend. I'm like, girl, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Obviously, obviously this man is want to take me to his house. A dinner date at his house. He picked up the food and we we're going to watch TV in his house. Dinner and that's his version of dinner and a movie. So I call my friend and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, what should I do, what should I do? She's like, you better get out of there, girl. And literally, I bend my head down and there's a, there's a cab coming and I slowly open the door and I jumped out of his car and get into the cab car and I'm like, let's go, go, go. He's, the cab driver is like a red light and I'm like, go, go, go. And I'm bending my head down in the cab car, ditching this man because he picking up food from a Chinese place. And I love Chinese food. Chinese food, Chinese food is delicious. It's not that. It's the fact that he want me to go to his house on a first date. His house to watch movies at his house. But he wouldn't watch DVDs. Hell no. So I jump in the car and I get out. If this is what they're offering out there, mm -mm, I'm not ready to date. If that's what's out there, I'm not ready to date at all. Obviously, this was planned because he called ahead for the food. Before he comes and pick me up, he planned this whole thing. And he told me that, oh, we're going to the movies. And it's not like, I'm not desperate to go to the movies or anything, okay? You've been badgering me for months and months to go on a date with you. And I said, finally go. And you're trying to get me into your place so you can touch me or whatever so I can feel uncomfortable. Ladies, don't go to a man house on the first date. I mean, if you have drinks and you want to go back and you feel a little frisky and you want to go back, fine. But as the first date, as he come to pick you up, take you to his place. You know, you don't want to go to some other place and you get into a situation where you can't get out of. And the cops are going to look at you like, sweetie, you went to his house. Where do you know this man? You went to his house. No, honey, nobody's going to find me chopped up in a barrel or somewhere. No. A first date, you do it publicly. Publicly. Not at your house, honey. Since as we're on the topic of men, in other news, um, this guy called me up and he wants to, I'm like, hi, can I see? And I'm like, sweetie, I don't remember you. And he refreshed my memory. And I met this guy like five years ago. Five years ago. And... It was the, it was horrible. It was horrible. It was horrible. I was drunk and I remember it because it was horrible. It was so bad. It was so bad. So it's like, please, can I see you one more time? Please, can I see you one more time? I can't get you out of my head. I said, no. I said, no, it was bad. The sex was bad. It was bad. It was bad. No. So it's like, please, can I see you one more time? I said, sweetie. Seeing you the first time was a mistake. And to see you again would be absolutely torture and one that I'm not willing to endure. So he's like, so please, can I just, just one more time? I said, haven't you heard anything I said? Seeing you again would be torture. And I'm not going to put myself to torture. Hell no. No. 
So I ended up on a block, Tim Honey. It was really, really, really bad. And, and I'm, the, I'm the kind of girl, if somebody is bad, I just say, honey, just lay there, honey. Just lay there, honey. And I get on and I do my thing. Or tie your ass up to my bed pole. And I do my thing. You know, because I'm going to enjoy myself. But this guy was just horribly, was all over the place. And it, it was just horrible. Bad, bad, bad. Hell no, I don't want to see you again. Bye, guys. It was nice chatting with you. Catching up with you. I've missed you. Mm? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am really crazy now, don't I? Yeah. I do look beautiful. Don't I? I still have a little more of this to get rid of. And my chin and then my face is perfect. So I just have two things to do on my face. And then my face is perfect. Plus the dog shit. There's three things I have to work on on my face. And then everything is perfect. Just the way I like it. Perfect. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a wonderful day. Night. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful whatever part of the world you're from. Just have a wonderful time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>